The American Association of University Women, founded in 1881, advances equity for women and girls through advocacy, education, philanthropy, and research. The Salem branch was founded in Lausanne Hall, Willamette University campus on October 21, 1922. Our oral history project is a record of our lifetime members who worked tirelessly for over 50 years to make women and girls a priority. They kept our branch going and thriving. They came before us and led the way. We are honored to present the stories and reflections of Haroldine Schwartz. My name is Haroldine Schwartz. I was born August 6, 1929 in Madison, South Dakota. When I graduated from uh, college in um, uh, Brookings, South Dakota in 1950, the Salem, the, uh, not the Salem, the Brookings branch of AAUW invited all of the women in the graduating class to a tea and then told them about AAUW and invited them to join. And I was impressed, so I joined for the grand sum of five dollars in dues at that time. <laughs> and so um, that, I got started in uh, AAUW then. And um, then um, we moved back to Newport, let's see. No, I was in, Sa we were in Salem and I was in the AAUW there until 1958. Then we moved to Newport where there was no branch. But when we moved to Roseburg and Bend and La Grande, there were branches there. So I was um, active in, in those branches. So, but the Salem branch is certainly my favorite. <laughs> When I, we first came back to Salem, and I, I rejoined here, and we had this uh, uh, baby girl, and then I, I went to AAW meetings, and I learned about the Happy Time um, uh, Cooperative Preschool. Here was a, a nursery school and kindergarten that had been started by AAW mothers, and it was, uh, done very well. They had an excellent teacher. And I became very interested then in child development. And then that kind of has evolved into an interest in education for the rest of my life and for support of education through AAW. Because when I went to college, the, uh, my father was a farmer and they were still in hard times because of all of the depression and the drought. But my mother was a very, very interested person in education. And she was determined that her children were going to go to college. So she went to work and raised hundreds of chickens and sold them to um, um, meat shops and then eggs to grocery stores and so paid for my tuition and college expenses and for those of my brothers and my sister. When I was president of the, of the Salem branch in 1992 and 1993, there were a, a, was a whole variety of things to be interested in and to support. And three of the major things were, one was educational equity for girls, and that, um, was helped by um, Jerry Frank coming to a branch meeting and, and um, addressing people. He was on the UNICEF board at that time. Another one was uh, cultural diversity to eliminate racism. And that was had been a long time project for AAUW and was important at that time. And uh, Senator Mark Hatfield came to a branch meeting and addressed that. I hope AAW will continue to support education locally and nationally. I'm uh, now involved in sorting all the materials of the AAW uh, 
dating back to 1922, and um, I'm amazed at some of the things that AAOW has accomplished in our community. And one of the things that surprised me the most was they started um, supporting kindergartens in 1926, and have been at it ever since. And finally, did um, get them in. To get the legislature to approve them in 1992, so that that was a big step. Another thing that has been, that they have been involved in that I was amazed at was how much how many community affairs they were involved in through those early years, and then on up through the years. And one of the community affairs that I think has been uh, very important is Salem Speaks Up. It was started by um, jo no, Dorothy Patch in 1992 to commemorate Eleanor Roosevelt's United Nations Human Rights Day on December 10th. And so there have been uh, Salem Speak Up, Speaks Up um, meetings on December 10th for 27 years. And I think that it gives the people in the community a chance to uh, sound off, complain, or make um, recommendations for how things could be better. And I think that one of the uh, fortunate things is that uh, Salem City Council members attend, the police attend, church members attend, school board members attend, and even neighbors who might go ahead and help with some of these things or, or help some of these problems. So I think that has been a um, real help to the community. Another community project which I was impressed with is for how many years the Salem branch had a Christmas musicale at Willamette University. Years and years. And then they changed that to a Midsummer Night's musicale on the Willamette campus with a dinner for a fundraiser. And that went on till 2010. So, it would be nice if, a, if, if some members of AAUW could get interested in cultural affairs and bring those back to the community.